everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favorite bird, Archie. And today, I'm very excited to bring you episode one in my home renovation series. We've been locked down where I live in Australia for a couple of months now, and it is the perfect opportunity to renovate the house, seeing as there's nowhere else that I can possibly go, and also my husband is stuck here with me. My number one priority for my home renovation was renovating my kitchen. I had some of the electrical work done before lockdown started, and unfortunately, uh, when we entered the lockdown, the electricians hadn't finished their work yet, so they'd prepared the ceiling to put down lights above my kitchen island, uh, and at the moment there's, there's just wires hanging out of the ceiling. But that's fine, <laughs> because the lights that I ordered haven't arrived yet, and in fact I'm questioning if they ever will. See, I ordered these lights here off Amazon. I ordered those because uh, I saw this Instagram account, Life on Cedar Lane. Uh, the style of her house is basically what I'm going for in decorating my place. I'm trying to go for a Hampton style, uh, possibly coastal Hamptons, but I haven't quite decided if I want traditional Hamptons or coastal Hamptons, but there's going to be a lot of blue and there's going to be a lot of gold and no, no green, unfortunately. So, in my quest to turn my home into a Hamptons themed haven, I picked up gold pendant lights to go in the kitchen and then I started thinking, if I'm putting gold lights in the kitchen, perhaps, just maybe, I should get some gold decor? I don't know, something's telling me it might just be the thing to do. I always said that when I finally bought my own house, that is when I would start to build up my collection of gold kitchen accessories. And you know what, I'm starting to ever so slightly regret asking our wedding guests to uh, not give us gifts, because that maybe possibly could have been a good opportunity to uh, get some stuff for my future kitchen. <laughs> my, th excuse you. Our kitchen is made up of things that my parents gave me when I moved out, things that I've thrifted, and uh, things that I was given as wedding gifts. Our cutlery set is a mix of a cutlery set given to us by Daniel's uncle for a wedding gift, and cutlery that Sam thrifted when he was living with us, bless you. Our pots and pans, all thrifted. Our steak knives, they were a wedding gift. And I've got a bunch of uh, silicon kind of <laughs> kitchen utensils or tools from Daiso that all cost a dollar. <laughs> That's my kitchen. There is no theme. Some things are pink, some things are orange, some are red. There's no rhyme or reason. But now that I have a house of my own, I would very much like to start to build a cohesive and Pinterest-worthy kitchen. So, when I realized how much it was going to cost me to essentially purchase a whole new kitchen, <laughs> and that is without the cost of even renovating. I mean, we, we had a new kitchen island put in, I've got the down lights getting put in, the pendant lights, the new range hood, <laughs> the new cabinets. I mean, it's, it's all kind of pricey. So when I saw how much it was going to cost me to buy some gold themed things, I, I just, I couldn't justify it. I was like, I'm just, I'm gonna hang on to the thrifted stuff for another few years. But then, lucky for me, one of my favorite sponsors, HelloFresh, wanted to work with me on a video this month and I thought, Oh my God, this is it. This is my moment. This is the opportunity of a lifetime that's been presented to me to get HelloFresh to pay for the gold things for my kitchen. So later in the video, I'm gonna be cooking dinner, HelloFresh, which I eat for dinner every night anyway. Uh, and uh, we're gonna be using the items that I've bought as part of my kitchen makeover. Everything that you're gonna see in today's video, I just bought from Amazon. <laughs> Archie and I have been sitting here for- Ow. You may not remove my earrings from my ears. There's a lot of things that you're going to see in uh, this video that I wouldn't have bought under any circumstances if it weren't for the fact that I wasn't actually paying for it. You're not paying for it either. Relax. So thank you so much HelloFresh for making my kitchen makeover possible. I'm so excited. So I've put through the order tonight. So well, tonight slash this morning, I guess, seeing as it's 1.40 in the morning. <laughs> Some of the items that I picked said that they were going to arrive like same day shipping slash next day shipping. So I'm very interested to see what 
turns up tomorrow, today, in a few hours. Is it even worth me going to sleep at this point or should I pull an all-nighter? Anyway, I'm just gonna show you guys everything that I got. This is a, this is a corbel. I actually got this as part of my range hood makeover. I'm gonna be trying to build like a country style range hood. And I thought, you know what? These are relatively cheap. They're $33 each. And if they are actually nice, I will use them as part of my kitchen design. If they're kind of tacky, I'll just use them in my wardrobe or something. Gold steak knives. These are, uh, this was $40 for a six piece steak knife set. That kind of freaked me out at first. I was like, oh, $40, that's a lot. But then I was like, Gee, you have been ruined by Wish. I've bought that many things from Wish that were so dirt cheap. So uh, Amazon, I often think of Amazon as similar to Wish, but then I remember actually, no, no, it's not. There's a lot of reputable businesses on Amazon. There, there's a lot of stores that sell, you know, they've got shop fronts here in Australia and they just have an Amazon store. So it's not really like Wish, but my mindset is still in the Wish mindset. So I'm like, oh, $40 for knives, that's a lot. But actually, when you think about it logically, if you were to go to a department store, it'd probably be $40 per knife. So, you know, if they're good quality, I will be very, very pleased. These, these are so cute. So this is a measuring cup set. It's a, it even says in the name, cute measuring cups, <laughs> sold. There's eight of them. So it comes with four cups and then four spoon measurements. The measuring cups I currently have, I got from Daiso. They were $2, $2.80 or something. So it is a fair bit more than I'm used to paying, but if they're nice and if they last a long time and they look beautiful, well, $50 might be well worth it. I got blue knives. I'm ridiculous ridiculously excited for this. This is a 14 piece turquoise set and it's by a brand called the Pioneer Woman. Cowboy Rustic, yeehaw. This was $150 for this knife set. Now remember, I am speaking in Australian dollars. So if you are in the States, that's probably like 100, 120 US, well, that, that many US dollars. The last time that I bought knives, uh, the current knives that we use. I got them for Daniel's birthday five years ago, I think. Uh, they're Shun knives, they're made in Japan and they're in excellent condition. They're beautiful knives, Dan loves them. They were like $200 each. I, uh, yeah, so $150 for a set, a 14 piece set. If it's a good quality set, I'm going to be very, very happy. But uh, again, aside from the fancy Shun knives that I've got Dan in the past, uh, the other cooking knives that we own, I got all of them from Daiso. And there's nothing wrong with cheap knives. Literally, if you, if you get like a, a $2 knife like this from Daiso, and you just get a sharpener, a knife sharpener, you know, like one of those ones you pull the knife through, that will be the sharpest knife that is in your kitchen and it will remain so for many, many, many years. If you don't leave it wet, if you dry it after you wash it, it won't go rusty. Daiso knives, I love them. There's two extremes for me when it comes to knives. It's like Daiso, $2, best knife ever, or $500 for the chef's knife for my husband. There is no in-between. Actually, maybe there is, maybe this, Maybe this is the in-between. This is decorative swan base holder with 10 pieces, coffee spoon set. Now, I had to get this. It's a swan, a glorious swan. I'm sorry it's not a glorious eclectus parrot, but uh, you know, sometimes he does sit on the coffee machine and hold my teaspoon for me. So I'm already covered in that department. <laughs> He's not gold though. So the, the gold swan, I, I literally just got it to sit on top of the coffee machine. Uh, you know, when you're making hot chocolate, in the morning, you just grab your little spoon, stir the powder through, that that sort of vibe. Are you sorry, you just hang on, please hold. Wait, just, look, look. Ooh. Where'd it go? Did you just put it back? Where did it go? Did you? Did you really just put that back? That was uh, $50 for the swan. If I said to my husband, "Hun, I spent $50 on a swan to hold our spoons, he'd be like, why did I marry you again? 
Uh, I spent $22 on a corkscrew. We don't own a corkscrew. It's actually really embarrassing. My mum came over with a bottle of wine that she was very, very excited about because her friend had given it to her for her birthday and it was like some vintage red wine from the south of France and she was so excited to open it because it was like 18 years old and she'd brought it to our house for a special occasion and she was like, now where's your corkscrew? And I was like, sorry, our what? Corkscrew. Mum, do you think the $5 wine I buy from Aldi requires a corkscrew? <laughs> really? This is called Mud Pie. I believe Mud Pie is the brand. This was $62. I added and deleted and added and deleted and then added it and deleted it because I was like, $60 for a piece of marble, that's ridiculous. And then I remembered my marble coffee table uh, was $600. And then I thought, okay, if I divided that into 10, the size of this cheese board may actually mean that per kilo, I'm ahead. I got this tray because on Pinterest, I often see people posting pictures of their kitchen counter with a, a tray and then the tray has like a vase or something. My God, this just gets more and more expensive. $75. To be honest, I wasn't really thinking about the price because I, I'm not paying for it. HelloFresh is paying for it. So um, I wasn't really heavily considering how much these things cost, but $75 for a gold tray. I was about to say, it better be made of gold. <laughs> 24 carat white and gold kitchen tools and gadgets the lux eight piece cooking tools with anti-slip handles this was 78 dollars but it's an eight piece set it's got tongs a whisk ice cream scoop garlic crush out of all of those things we currently own a we own tongs from daiso a garlic crush that sam's dad gave him a veggie peeler from daiso and a thrifted ice cream scoop <laughs> So uh, it'll be nice to have a, a set of matching items. Oh, this, I had to get every single thing from this collection. This is called the Typhoon Pasta Storage Canister. It was $22 and it is the most beautiful shade of blue. Oh, I got a gold milk jug. I currently have silver milk jugs for my coffee machine. Seeing as I'm going to have a gold swan sitting on top of the coffee machine, had to get a gold milk jug and it actually looks like it might be quite a nice one it was $20 which is quite cheap actually I, I worked as a barista for many years while I was going through uni and uh, milk jugs can get very very expensive so $20 is not bad at all for that this serves no practical purpose whatsoever it's just decorative towel bar that I'm going to be using as a door handle for my fridge I currently have a silver fridge and ideally I like to paint it white and give it gold handles. It's, it's just, I think it would look so nice. These, I got marble and brass coasters. It's a set of six. The set of six was $46. So hopefully that'll match my cheese board. I'm very excited about these because it's so satisfying. Just so deeply satisfying to look at pictures of people's pantries and to see like all of the jars neatly lined up and it's like that one's pasta and that's rice and they're all in the same container so they're all the same size and height and color and then you can like print off nice labels and stick them on and oh that's just I just I want it I want the symmetry so I got a bunch of them. I got them in like every single size. This is a magnetic knife holder. Now I got this because my friends Alex and Beck, they have a magnetic knife strip in their kitchen above their stove. And when he's cooking, he just like reaches up and just grabs his knife and chops it. And then he just like slaps it back on the wall. And I, the first time I saw, I was like, that is the coolest. I need to get one of those. I didn't really want to get this, but it was the best option that I found. The options were pretty terrible. I knew I wanted a gold drying rack for my dishes, but none of them were just gold. Like all of them had black on them. Now this, this was $45, which again, I thought was a fair bit. It's a paper towel holder. My current paper towel holder is one that I thrifted. Now these, I'm so excited. I'm so excited about these. These are salt and pepper mills and uh, they're made by Peugeot. It feels too fancy for me. And also the price is too fancy for me. Compost bin. I've been super into gardening during lockdown and our current compost bin, it's, it's gray. The tea canister, $13. My God, 
so worth it. The bread bin was $40, but it, it looks beautiful. The kettle to match, which is so cute. Oh my God. The utensil storage container. Now this, this is, this is the big one. This is the one that I was like, do it, $520. But to be fair, before I actually put through the order, I had to fact check. And I found several stores in Australia that sell green pan pots and pans. And this set on other websites looked like it was about 700, 800, even a thousand dollars on some websites. So I was like, well, cheaper on Amazon, but is it going to be the real thing? I got scales to match all of the jars. This one, handmade in USA. This was $112 for a nice bucket. Now these, $40 for a set of three. They come in rose gold and black and then standard gold. These, hopefully these match the other ones from earlier. So you know the set that had like the pizza cutter and the ice cream scoop? I think it's the same company. I got this. This is a sponge holder, an unnecessary purchase. Now, for anyone that doesn't know, I have pet chickens and uh, they lay eggs, a lot of eggs. So many, in fact, that I, I can't eat all of them. Between my husband and I, we can't eat all of them. We have a surplus. So I was thinking of maybe putting a little basket out the front of my house and uh, putting a sign up so that the people in my street can just come take eggs as they please. And I thought, well, I need a nice sign if I'm gonna do that. So farm fresh eggs. That was $45 for the sign. It's made of timber and it looks very, very sweet. But, but, but nuggets. <laughs> How could I not? I got some egg cartons and I got a stamp that says, please return carton. I got these, these are liquor spouts. How could I say no to this? $32, it's divine. It's so cool. A gold chicken to hold the eggs that my chooks lay. Now this is a blue compost box. I got a white one, but also I decided to get a blue one as well because we, we have a bit of compost. And this egg rack. So I've got the, the chicken egg basket. And also I figured, well, look, I can have the rack up on the wall with the farm fresh butt nuggets up above it and it'll be cute and fun. And <laughs> yes, to be fair, $55 for what is quite literally like three pieces of timber knocked together with nails. Ridiculous. Anyone could just do that themselves. But in the spirit of testing kitchen accessories from Amazon, we're gonna give it a try. So that's everything that I picked up. I'm so excited to see what turns up. Some of them are supposed to arrive tomorrow. So I think it's time to put this little grumpy bird to bed. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in, well, I, I was gonna say the morning, but uh, it, it is currently the morning. So I'll see you uh, in, in a few hours. <laughs> Oh my god, so the first lot of stuff arrived today. I haven't opened any of the items themselves, but I can read on their labels what they are. I was gonna wait for every single item to arrive before I filmed this video, but this stuff is so cool and I'm so excited to use it. So I'm gonna take this box and I'm gonna take it into the kitchen. Dan's cooking dinner right now. And uh, I think I'm just gonna whack it down on the counter and present this stuff to him and we can open it up together. And uh, <laughs> maybe I can make him drop all the tools he's currently using and uh, replace it with the gold ones instead. Let's see if I can pick this up. Oh God. No. I don't think I can. No, okay. All right. One thing at a time then. All right. So Dan thinks that he's uh, about to help me film the HelloFresh sponsorship for this video, but little does he know, I have something for you or for us. Oh, thank you. Because what's mine is yours, sweetie. <laughs> The Pioneer Woman. Oh. Ah. It's like Ah, a, thank you. Like one of those babushka, Russian dolls. Babushka, babushka. I swear, there's another wire. And you're just dropping me so hard. It's just a box inside just, a box inside a, a box. Ah, a box? Yep. Inside a box? Inside a box. Okay, I okay. Yep. I'm not trolling, I swear. Are you sure? It's a knife block. Where's our knife block over there? It's not ours, it's Sam's. It is too. I forgot when Sam lived with us, this was his knife block. It's really pretty. It's very pretty. It smells nice too. Mmm, real timber. They're cool. 
For a second there, I thought it was a set of second tiers. So I was like, <laughs> okay. Gardening tools. Gardening tools, thank you. Oh. Wow, yeah, they're girthy. Feel that? Oh, they're sturdy, yeah. Sturdy as heck. These are actually so nice. Oh, these are so nice. The handle of these feels a little bit crappy. Yeah. yeah. But not those. That, that had a really nice handle, but the steak knives feel a bit plasticky. Is this a, yes. Excalibur. Ah. Oh, I like those ones. That's not a knife. This is a knife. I like A bread this. knife. Oh, I like, oh, that's my favorite. That's it's my favorite. Is it just me or is it really short? It, well, here's ours. Yeah, that's not a knife. This is a knife. That's a knife. Hang on, are these instructions? Don't stab self. <laughs> <gasps> wow. Can my knives do that? Not as well. So I was thinking, instead of cooking using our old knives, because uh, out with the old and in with the new, um, I know, I know, you you would stab me if I threw these away, so no, I'm, just, no. <laughs> I'm just going to place them over here, never to be used again. Would you kindly, please, prepare dinner? Are only... you trying to brainwash me? What do you mean? Would you kindly? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would you kindly? Yes, I will. That took me a second. <laughs> if you would please prepare our HelloFresh meal using the knives from Amazon, and yeah. while you make the preparations, I'll tell the audience a little bit about HelloFresh. Tonight, we are eating Korean chicken tacos with pickled onion and lemon aioli. HelloFresh is a... Uh, a meal delivery service, they send you pre portioned fresh ingredients, fresh from the farm to your table with recipe cards that are easy to follow and they only take about 30 to 40 minutes or 20 minutes if you choose the quick and easy option. Dan and I have been using HelloFresh for over a year. We are legitimate customers. I'm not just talking about them because this is a sponsored video. We actually eat well, HelloFresh. Yeah. Well, yeah, we are talking about it because it's a sponsorship, but we actually use HelloFresh and we love it. Every time we make a HelloFresh meal, it's like the nicest thing we've ever eaten. Every week, there's about 30 or 40 menu items to choose from. They actually have about 50 items in total you can pick from ready meals, they've got snacks, they've got breakfast options and dessert options, they have pescatarian options, low carb, low cal. We love HelloFresh for many reasons, but uh, most of all, Convenience, the fact that the food turns up on your door with a subscription service at the same time every week. We don't have to go to the grocery store. We hate going grocery shopping. We just, I think we just hate people in general. So I, yeah. You can change your subscription at any time. You can pause, cancel, you can up it to four servings or put it down to two servings a week. It's completely flexible. The best thing about HelloFresh is that all of the food comes pre-portioned, which means that you have quite literally zero food wastage. So for example, Dan just did the onion and the carrots and oh, hang on, wait, wait, wait. This is the only food wastage we have versus often when we go to cook a recipe, we might have, uh, we might get a bag of carrots because we eat one carrot for a recipe and then Half we- Half a cauliflower. Yeah, and then you don't use the other bit and then it goes bad in the fridge and then you end up throwing it away. So we have very minimal to zero food wastage. We've got a handy dandy compost bin that we keep on the counter for the little tiny bits of food scraps that we do end up with. But before you throw it in this compost bin. Okay, yes. Please hold, for I have. <laughs> what have you got? The oh, Amazon compost bin. Ooh, oh, that's really nice. It's not the same color. Can I help you? It's not the same shade of blue, unfortunately, but this is nice. So the one that we currently have- Alex. What? The food. I didn't touch it. This one came from Dan's mum. Now we have our own one. Oh, this one's nice. It's got a rubber seal. Oh, this one doesn't. This one just like sits ah, like that. Oh, it's got a seal. Oh, it's oh. nice firm, soft close. Nice. Nice. Okay, I think that this one gets a pass. But uh, like I was saying, with HelloFresh, very minimal food wastage, which we love. So if you want to give it a try for yourself, go to hellofresh.com and enter the code PRETTYPASTEL14 to get 14 free meals, including shipping. And, uh, and uh, with that, let's get on with the cooking. Half a cup of vinegar. What? <clears throat> hang on, hang on, wait, stop. Not for you. As much as I love my duck measuring cups that I thrifted, I have something. They're geese, by the way. Huh? They're geese. They're geese? Aren't they ducks? You're a horrible, horrible goose. <laughs> it's a lovely day in the village and you're a horrible, horrible, horrible goose. goose. Oh! <gasps> they have a bag? I'm so surprised. 
surprised. The secret <laughs> ingredient is love. You know, like this. <gasps> this. Look at oh, that. They're hefty. Ooh. Yes, don't worry guys, we are washing all of this stuff before we use it. Oh my God. Did you just say so much plastic? So much plastic. Yes, that's something that um, Amazon not doing so well in the sustainability department. HelloFresh though, everything HelloFresh sends their stuff in is either recyclable or it's been recycled. Wow, these are really nice. Oh, they're so cute. And it's like a silicon thing, right? Oh, yeah, it's silicon. oh my god. This would be such a good gift for someone. Like yeah. if you had a friend. Like if I got that box, I'd be like, that's a really nice Christmas present. You mean the Compost box? No, the box it came. The box it came in. Oh, <laughs> if you opened your Christmas present and it was this, you'd be like, oh yes, fancy. Legit. Yeah, yeah, fancy, legit. Like, oh, you went to like a specialty Christmas shop. To I thought you meant if you gave me a compost box for Christmas. <laughs> I mean, I'd be yeah, happy. You'd be very happy. Wait, stop. Stop. <laughs> so close. Whoa, they're chunky. They're chunky. They're really chunky. <gasps> wow. Okay. I have a confession to make. This is Peugeot. Peugeot, like, like Pugot, like the car brand. This was pricey, a little bit pricey, but they're, they're legit, they're authentic. They are made in France. Look, they even have a little, a book. Look, they come with a novel. It's in French too. Je suis désolé, c'est un pepper und salt. Oh, it actually comes with salt. And it's like some sort of fancy salt too. It says in 1812, they started with saws. Also, wait, 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 fancy features. See on the side, there's like a one, two, three. This is the coarseness setting. Oh, you can what? You can change, you change the, with the dial, the coarseness. Which one's the salt though? Which one's this the pepper? Salt. How do you know? Let's just test and... Oh, what, at the top of... That's oh, white. Look, it's black. That's white. That's so cool. Are you testing the coarseness? <laughs> Daniel, this is meant to be brand friendly. Stop. <laughs> Ooh, very fine. Is that number one? It's number one. Oh, there's actually a very big difference. I'm sorry, you can't do it like that. We'll get the monetized. I like this setting. Number three. I am so happy. I've low key always wanted a legit nice pepper mill. They were, yeah, a little bit expensive, but I think totally worth it. The fact that they're not just salt and pepper, they're fancy salt and pepper, because not only are they Peugeot, but they're adjustable coarseness. So, but next. Water. I don't have any of that from Amazon. Get out of my drink. What next? Uh, shred some lettuce. Would you perhaps wash the lettuce before you do it? Yes. <laughs> Ooh. It's a family set of strainers. <laughs> what do you think of the knife? Not bad. I guess it's not that hard to cut lettuce, to be fair. You probably cut lettuce with a butter knife. What's the next step? Uh, we've got to slice up a long red chili. Oh, can I do it? Sure. Hmm. Choose your fighter. <laughs> Which one should... What, maybe this one. Uh, do you reckon I, I should... I think this, because look, it's got like that rounded edge and I can do that fancy chefy thing. Here goes. First try of the Amazon knives. Ooh! Yeah, boy! Look at me go! Woo! Do not try this at home. Well, that was enjoyable. All right, so what's next? We're gonna toss the salad. Toss the salad yeah. with those. Mm -mm. Oh dear. Uh -huh. Same brand as the measuring cups. So I've got high hopes. <gasps> These are bougie. Bougie. Oh! Whoa! Holy cow! Well, I actually think we don't even have half of this stuff. Yeah, like, we don't. We don't have a spoon. We don't. Oh. We don't have a can opener. We don't have large tongs. These are the only tongs we have. That big. We have an ice cream scoop now. Yay! Ooh, we got a pizza cutter. Pizza cutter! Now. We got a microplane. Hey, we could have grated the carrot using that. Do Is there any. No, 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 you don't. Have to cut. Oh, Daniel, a whisk. Hey, finally. We didn't own a whisk, we only had like an electric one. A ladle! A vegetable peel. A Chunky garlic crush. Oh, that's a. Hang on, do we have to crush garlic? We do, we do. Yes! And a spatula. Spatula. Oh, and one of those things too. Okay, this is a. A hole. This was a good idea. <laughs> I second guessed myself because it was a little bit 
cost more than I would have liked to have paid, but it's very nice. Oh, a little tiny whisk. <laughs> Bless you. Garlic crush, we'll use that. Veggie peeler, do you need to peel any veggies? Uh, no, the peeling didn't peel anything. Okay, well, I feel like I should peel something because I want to show people how it works. Do you want to peel the chili? Can you do that? Let's find out. If it can peel a chili, it can peel anything, surely. Oh, oh, Dan! Dan, look! What the f yeah. <laughs> This feels a bit wrong. I feel like I shouldn't be looking at this. Have you guys ever seen a naked chili? Is this a red hot chili pepper? No, That's... no this shouldn't be Hang on the internet. Can I have our chili, uh, our chili peeler? It shall henceforth be known as the chili peeler. Yeah, can I have the chili peeler? Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's, can our one peel a chili? Uh, oh, 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 oh. It does, does not pass the chili test. So the, the Amazon one wins. It's actually a... Excellent, and now I'm kind of concerned because I've just rubbed chili literally all over my hands and um, oh dear, do not touch my eyes. <laughs> oh, this is cool. So it actually, like it crushes and then it spins itself all the way around and then it's got these little teeth that like push the garlic back through to make sure that it's all out. Wow, this is the fanciest garlic crush I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, let's go. Muscles. All right, it's having a, it had a bit of a hard time there with two cloves. This isn't as good as our garlic crush. Yep, that one is not as easy. Oh, that is not great. You try. Oh yeah, it flexes. Like I can't even. Okay, that one uh, might look incredible, but a little bit of a write off. No, this one, like you, you, can't, you can't flex it. Yeah, right. Oh, these are so cute. Hang on, do I like them more than, oh, they're so much better. Oh, they are so much better than ours. Oh my god, they're so much better! These feel like rubbish in comparison. Okay, well, to be fair, I think I got these for 50 cents from Daiso. Um, but anyway. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, I love them. Alright, I feel like this big knife is not cutting as well as the rounded edge one that I used on the chili. I don't know if it's just not as sharp or what. It's very fat. Very it's like, yeah, it's a very thick kind of blade. It's weird because it, it's super sharp, but it's just not cutting right. What's next? Uh, time to cook the chicken. In the fry pan. Wait, 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 no, no. Oh, wow. You didn't wait. No, sorry. Holy crap. There's so many. It's like a 10 piece set. It's, it's a 10 piece <laughs> set. <laughs> oh my Lord. I feel like we are not opening. Responsible technology. We don't like our technology to be irresponsible. We don't like to stay out late at night and drink and get involved in drugs. No, we like responsible technology. <laughs> the handle is gold. Brush gold. Yeah, it's really nice. They're so These are. This is. This has blown my mind. I did not expect this. I. I did not expect this. I didn't mind spending a little bit more on this set because I thought, well, we don't have a set. And this is supposed to be one of those all inclusive, everything that you need kind of things. How much was it? Well, let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about it. Behold, the 10 piece set. Now, when it said 10 pieces, part of me was thinking, ah, oh, yes, there's going to be 10 pots. Uh, no, they, they count the pot and the lid as like a separate piece. I feel ripped off. <laughs> I feel a bit ripped off. But anyway, so we have a pretty decent sized pot that I don't think that we need tonight. And then a bigger size, I suppose a good one for pasta, a really good one for dumplings. Teeny tiny little fry pan, it looks like it'll be good for omelettes. We have bigger one, but that's quite deep. That's like a sauce pan. Yeah, and we've got, oh, the, the big, the big chonker. This keeps the 5G rays out. And then this, Dan, this is what you're going to be cooking our chicken on tonight. Um, and then oh, these aren't chef ones, nice. They're ceramic. Oh, bird safe. Bird safe, yes. If you are in a parrot, don't cook with Teflon, it'll kill them. Well, it suffocates their little lungs. It's toxic to them. Don't do it. So this is ceramic, completely safe. Oh, this is so nice. I'm quite literally blown away by how nice these are. This is, I want to get this as like gifts for people. Oh, it's so good. No, 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 no,
here. Just want to degrease the pan. Behold! Oh, whoa! It's like a bird! Oil dispenser! And also, the thing, something I bought completely separate to the oil dispenser were these little things, which you're supposed to put on bottles. I actually think they were intended for alcohol. I think that it was supposed to be for spirits and liquor and stuff. But oh. my thought process was that this came with a little silver one. But because everything that I got is gold, I hope this fits. Yes! Matchy matchy. Matchy matchy! Oh, it's so cute! Okay, okay. Uh, we need to fill this bad boy up with oil. This holds a lot more than the one we currently use, so yeah. uh, just keep going. Keep it. Okay, slow down. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, it's so satisfying. It's, oh my God, I love it. This is my favorite thing. This is definitely my favorite thing. Not that we needed it because these are supposed to be non-stick, but uh, look, I just, I wanted the satisfaction of pouring it. Oh, and we're done. Uh. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Thank you so much Thank for you. cooking. This smells delightful. Um, can I just say, looking at all this stuff spread out in front of us, does our kitchen not look magnificent? It's so stylish. Uh, we're going to be using these items over the course of a month or so. And then next month, as we continue with our kitchen renovation, I'll be able to report back and tell you how these things have held up. Because uh, Dan did notice... Really going to put them through their faces. This one, right? Yeah. Yeah, that one there. The first one that we used of this, it, the... The gold plating looks like it started to wear away. So don't take the first impressions as gospel because we, we do need to try these things out long term. But as far as our first meal, cooking with our new kitchen accessories, I'm very happy and how amazing it looks. It, it really yeah. brings me joy. So with that, let's serve up. I'm so excited Thank to you. try this. Uh, okay, so how do we do this? What are we doing? The tacos. I don't eat tacos usually. <laughs> I don't like Mexican food, okay. but these are Korean tacos, so it's fine. Take one of these. Oh, oh no, I got this. It's fine. It's just like a pizza. So we do the aioli, and then we do the salad. Yeah, and some chicken. Yes, please. Please, sir, may I have some more? Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh my god. Mm. It's so good. Thank you again so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget, if you want to try it for yourself, go to HelloFresh.com and use the code PRETTYPASTEL14 at the checkout to get 14 free meals, including shipping. So with that, let's finish our dinner. And um, I'm going to sit back and wait for all the other items to arrive. Oh. Did you think this was everything? Oh, hon. <laughs> he doesn't know about the butt nuggets. So... <laughs> <laughs> the butt nuggets. I'm gonna wait until it all arrives. I'll see you guys hopefully only in like a week. I hope it doesn't take a month for everything to get here. See you soon.